Hello everyone, this is Frank Yilo from Afro Design Studios. In today's video, we shall be looking at how to create pergola. How to create pergola. We have done that in our previous video, in our previous class. We looked at how to design a different kind of pergola. Today we are going to be looking at this very kind of design. The one we looked at before, the one we have learned before is this very type. Yes, we have taught or learned how to design this kind of pergola. But today, I want us to look at another different design. Like this very design is what we are going to be looking at today. And this very one, they are the same. So, how do you create it? Let's go to Revit. So, we are going to be putting this on this veranda, I'm sorry, on this balcony. The pergola is going to be on this balcony, okay? But I'm, I am going to stretch it from this window hood to this under, other window hood. So it's going to stretch you, it's going to run all the way from this very window hood to this other window hood. At the same time, covering this balcony. So how do we go about it? But before we go, let me also explain to you that in the other kind of design, the first design we did, that's this very design, this very design of pergola, you can create this kind of pergola on elevation view. You can start it, sorry, you can start creating it from elevation view. It, it will be easier for you there. Okay? But this very one we are going to be learning today, this very type, I would urge you to start on a plan view having said that let's hop back into Revit. so we're going to go to plan view the question now is this on what plan is this going to be you know we have the ground floor we have the first floor and we have the second floor so this is going to be on my second floor level but now it's going to be on the beam level the beam level of the second floor so how do we identify that we go to project browser when you get to project browser you can see you can see our not zero uh, zero two is ground floor zero four is first floor zero six is second floor but then zero seven is beam two this beam is for the second floor so you double click on this beam two okay when you do that it's going to bring out the plan view of the beam when you are done that you are going to go to architecture if it is not on if it is not activated click on architecture then come to this component click on component and select model in place then click ok click ok again now you go to extrusion click on extrusion the next thing you do, come to this edge of the window hood, click here, and go like this. Because you cannot trace the perpendicular, you cannot trace the junction of this, just extend it and press escape. Then come to this one, click at this edge, this point, and bring it here. Now, this extension now you can trim it off. Go to, ex uh, go to trim, click on trim click here and click here once you've done that go back to line click on line and come here at this edge click here and go like this and go here and come here and click and well you have to go again okay so let's stop this here let's stop this here press escape and go and continue from here You can stop it here and use trim to join it because I could not find the track. That was why I left this one and brought it from there. So to make sure I am still online. Okay. So when I do this, I've gotten the the boundaries or the, the, the perimeter of what I want to create. But now if you look at this, the gap between this and this is too small. If you go to dimension, click on dimension and click here now. 
this to, you see is about 400 so i want this to be at least 900 millimeters in wideness so i go to offset click on offset then go inside here click inside the box and type 900 there 900 then come to this very one not the outside one go to the inner one click here it will offset for you then click on the middle one and delete the next thing you are going to do go to trim click on trim and trim everything to make sure there is no gap anyway there is no gap so this is about that this is about that so but since we have made this 900 is it not wise for us to also make this one 900 so they will look uniform so i go to offset again click on offset we still have the 900 there so i come here and offset this press escape click on this and delete then i come to trim click on this trim here click on this and trim this click here and click here so i've gotten what i'm looking for okay this is the shape but now the next thing is what is going to be the thickness of the pergola what is going to be the thickness i normally use 150 millimeters for the thickness of my pergolas some people use 200 some use 300 millimeters but it's up to you so i would go to extrusion end here click inside the field and type 150 after typing that the next question is what is going to be the material for the pergola what is going to be the material and the color so i'm going to use gypsum gypsum color gypsum material form of pop so come to material here click where you have by category then the live the material library will come out i'll go to the field the search field click here and type gyp short form for gypsum so i click on this and click ok once i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is come here here you have the this green tick finish edit mode click on it then come here to finalize it click on it again that is done to see what we have done we have to go to what is it called default 3d view at the top here click on it you can see we have gotten our pergola we have gotten our pergola it is you can see how it stretches from all the way from here to here okay so the thing that is remaining now is the perforation you know there are some holes there are some there are some openings on this pergola on this slab you know now it is slab yes so we have to put those perforations those openings and that is where the main work is okay so we are going to go back to let me even show you what i'm talking about so all these openings all these openings we are going to create it now all these openings here is what we are, we are about to create so i'm going to go back to 07 beam 2 then i will click on this click on this um slab once i've done that i go to edit in place click on edit in place then i come to create look at my cursor at the top left left corner click on create then i go to void form click on void form click on void extrusion after that it is now time for me to begin to create those perforations okay those perforations what i'm going to do now is you can see my cursor is activated is is is, is alive is ready to sketch so what i'm going to do now is this I go to offset okay click inside offset and type 450 that is going to be the the space between the perforations so i come to this junction here click here and go down i don't want it to start from from the wall so i click here so the space between them is going to be 450 millimeters but the perforation itself i want to make them 300 okay so for that reason i'll go to off uh, come here i'll come to this very offset not here again go to offset here click on offset and come here type inside here 300 okay then i come here and offset this you can see that 
so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to line click on line to close it up this is my perforation close it up okay but now you can see that this very perforation is touching this wall you can see the wall i don't want it to touch the wall and this one too i would have wanted this to extend but if it extends beyond this i don't know how it's going to look like i don't know how it's going to look like but let's just try it so but first let's take it away from the wall how do we do that we are going to offset it with about 300 mm so go to offset here click on offset it is still at 300 then click on this to offset then use trim click on trim click here click here click here click here press your escape key twice then click on this one and delete once you have deleted that one i'm still considering extending this i don't know how it's going to look like so let's extend it anyway so go to offset again click on offset it is still bearing 300 so let's leave it at 300 i don't know how it's going to look like let's make it 600 at least or 450 so click here and offset so use trim again trim here trim here trim here trim here press escape twice and click on this and delete so this is the perforation the first one so like i told you it is going to be 450 uh, 450 millimeters apart so I'm going to highlight this together. I don't want to highlight it like this. Let me just use control. I press down my control key. Click on this. Click on this. Click on this. Click on this. They are all highlighted. The, 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 control, key I'm talking, the control key I'm talking about is the one on your keyboard. So I go to um, copy. Okay. Click on this. And click at this edge and bring it here okay so i'm going to click on copy again this time around i click on multiple so i can copy to multiple places click here and click here and click here and click here and here and here and if it's unnecessary let's just leave that one there so press escape twice once you have pressed escape twice you have created your perforation but it has not yet been perforated how do you get it perforated you go to extrusion end here go to extrusion end, end. click here because the thickness of this is 150 millimeters i would want you to type in the 160 so that the, uh, the 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 perforation will cross the thickness a bit let it cross it okay so you can make it 160 that's it then go to your your finish edit mode click on it finish model and you are done your perforations are created Go to three, default 3D view. You can see the perforation. Very beautiful. Lovely. Very beautiful. So let's go to our 3D view to see how it looks like. So this is it. This is what we have just created. Isn't this lovely? So but then you have the liberty. You have every liberty to design it the way you want to design it. Even if you don't want it to extend this window hole, you can see that my own is extended a bit from it so that is where you have that is why you are the designer you will give it whatever um, um, state you want it to or condition you want it to to bear so but i'm okay with this and you can see so lovely i love this i love this so this is it thank you for watching this video i remember frank ilo from afro design studios do well to like our uh, channel and uh, to like this video and also subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching and bye